Most of the library databases don't have newspaper and magazine articles in full text format before 1990. So if you're trying to research information on the Civil Rights Movement or the Vietnam War, then you're probably going to need to use a print index. Print indexes will give you um, a listing of all the newspaper and magazine articles that were published during a certain year, organized by topic. I'm going to go into the library and I'll show you how to locate these inside the library. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go into the library and I'm going to be very quiet. I'm going to show you where the location of these books are and then I'm going to take them to my office and we'll finish up there. Now that you know how to find the print indexes in the library, let's talk to you about two of our favorites. The first is New York Times Index. This will provide topical access to all of the articles published in a given year. Notice that this one that I have in front of me is from 1960. This means that if I were to look up articles on the civil rights, I would be looking up articles under the title Civil Rights, and it would list all the articles on civil rights that were published in the New York Times in 1960. The second source that I really like to use is the Reader's Guide to Periodical Literature. This doesn't cover just one source. It covers several sources that were really relevant to consumers and politics during the 20th century. Notice again, like the New York Times, each volume covers a specific date range. So this one only provides articles that were published between March 1965 to February 1966. Again, it has an alphabetical listing of topics, kind of like a dictionary, where you just flip through the pages and locate your topic alphabetically. Once your topic is found, for instance, the civil rights or African Americans, then you should be able to see all the articles that were published in each of the publications that this Reader's Guide to Periodical Liter Literature covers. One word of caution with both of these, if you are studying the civil rights, keep in mind that African American is a relatively new term. For these two publications, we recommend that you use the word Negro. If you do that, then you'll find that the pages that you look up may even have subtitles for the topic that you're looking for. So for Negroes in the Reader's Guide to Periodical Literature, I have a subtopic for civil rights, and on this page, it talks about different articles that were published on that topic in publications like Newsweek, New Republic, and Commonweal. The ones that I'm looking at right here are all on the Civil Rights Act. So we hope that this helps you in terms of finding historical news coverage of important events. Please let us know if you have any questions because we love to talk about these publications and come to the reference desk and we'll give you some help. Thanks so much. Bye.